Yo, what's going on, boys? It's your man back with another Marvel Legends for your review. So today we have Doctor Doom. God Doctor Doom. I'm not sure how to classify it. The box says Doctor Doom, but I'll say God Doctor Doom. So this, uh, this today's review was supposed to be the Marty McFly in the radiation suit or whatever it was called. But instead, I found this guy, so we're doing the review of him. I wanted I wanted this guy for a hot minute ever since he came out, and now I finally have him confirmed, and it is a pretty great figure. So we'll move him out of the way and get the box out of the way. Ooh, so here we have classic Marvel Legends box. Nothing too crazy about it. I like the colors on this one actually a lot. It has that classic comic book look, and I think it works pretty decent for a man like White Doom. Uh, look, at, there's the rest of the stuff. Sick. I, I don't know if I'll be reviewing any other figures from this wave. Uh, a couple of them I could review. I don't own them, but I could get them to review. So I guess if anybody wants to, uh, wants me to review them, please comment it and I'll see what I can do. So bringing this man back in. And we'll talk about the paint sculpt a little bit. Uh, for paint, there really isn't a lot. Like you can see in the eyes back there, there's some paint. And the, the eyes aren't the worst. You They don't look bad in real life, but staring straight at him like this, he's pretty cross-eyed. Well, I mean, kind of. It's not the worst. But uh, there's not really much paint uh, around the rest of the body because it's pretty much just sculpted in this silver metallic plastic. And then the rest of the stuff is molded in the white. So it works really well for no paint scuffing, which is really nice on the white. But it, it kind of cheapens the figure a little bit. But I think the quality of the sculpt and stuff makes it so it's really not that bad. So uh, the, looking at the sculpt, I think the uh, the sculpt on the cloak and the skirt, I guess it would just be, it looks really good. And I think the uh, it looks pretty realistic. And the plastic they used is really flexible to the point where this is fine. That doesn't hinder the articulation. Keep a little upskirt peep action there. That's just how much it moves. It's really flexible. And I even putting this guy in the hot water to loosen him up and moving this, it really didn't stay in that position. So it seems to go back to normal pretty nicely, which works really good for a Marvel Legends like this, especially Doctor Doom, because you're going to want to put him in some action poses. And then you're going to want to have him in the casual poses and the cloak will work for both. Like it'll move. No, excuse me. It'll move when you need to, and then it'll come back to normal shape when you want him to just be standing. So, we'll take a look at his body here. Uh, I'll take the cape off, because I know some people don't like the shirtless Doctor Doom, but I actually don't mind it at all. And I think the sculpting looks good enough for it that it's not bad whatsoever. He's got some uh, pretty... he's pretty ripped, I guess. Maybe that's just armor. I'm not sure. And uh, there you can see on the back, there's some of that marbling that could happen on this plastic. But I don't think it was too bad at all that I only got this one line and it's on the back too, so it doesn't really matter. I got lucky, but you could, like there could be lines on the front, like you can see some of these dots and stuff on the front of mine. That could happen and it could be worse, so if make sure when you buy the figure, if you can, choose the best looking one if you have multiple. But I don't mind the sculpt on the, the body. I think it looks really good. And I think it uh it encapsulates Doom well. It looks like an, a dude in armor. And I think uh the one thing I don't really understand, other than I know it's reuse, but why do they give God Doom a holster? This man does not need a gun, which he actually does come with a gun. This man does not need a gun. He, he is God Doom. So now moving on to articulation, which I'll just leave the cape off for. Starting at the head, he looks up. Uh, pretty all right. This the cloak or the hood kind of uh, stops it. He looks down pretty decent. He's got a nice pivot and uh, all the way to 360 all the way around. It is just a ball joint and hinge at the head, so you can use the neck. Oh, actually, there's a neck. There's a ball joint in the neck there. That if you put some pressure, it'll start moving. I never even knew that. All right, so he's got extra articulation. Fun fact. There's a ball joint at the bottom of the neck, and then he has the hinge ball joint like usual. So he's got updated, well, I'm not sure if the other one has it, but he has good neck articulation. Coming to the shoulders, you got to kind of get it under because there's a little lip. They go up very nicely. Uh, there, You don't have to worry about paint rub with any of this, which is nice because if you have to give it a little bit of pressure, you don't have to worry about it uh, breaking. Well, not breaking, but scuffing it all up. There's a nice rotation at the arms here. 
There's a bicep swivel, which on mine is extremely tight even after I loosen it up. It's got a nice double jointed elbow with these weird uh, caps on it. They're made of a flexible enough plastic so that if you put pressure on them, they flop around, but they don't break off. I just say don't overextend them too much because they could either break off or get really stressed and look terrible. So at the wrist here, he's got a nice rotation. And then the up and down, pretty decent like usual. And now come to the waist, he has uh, a very different waist setup. I'm not sure if the other Dr. Doom has this. I have never even seen the other one. But instead of having the usual kind of crunch and then a swivel, I think he has a double ball joint at the waist going up and then one coming down. Because the way he has to move, you have to kind of pick it up and flop it over so that he can crunch forward. Then you have to pick it up and kind of go back with it to get him back. And it, it works pretty decently, especially when you get it loosened up, you can go crazy with it. But fresh out of the box, it's a little like scary I'd say because I wasn't sure how to use it and if it was going to break so if you get this figure just make sure you're very careful out of the box with them because it was very tight and a very weird kind of joint to have at the midsection but it works really well and uh I don't think there's any scuffage that could happen with the belt because I don't know if the belt's even painted at all it might be another separate piece I'm not sure but moving down to the legs for articulation we get to pull up the skirt again everybody get a nice look Look at them doom joints. So he kicks forward very, very well. Uh, the leg articulation, uh, even with the skirt, is very nice. Kicks back pretty decently. He comes out, not straight 90, but pretty well. He has a rotation at the top of the thigh. We can cover his privates now. He has a double jointed knee. And this knee has the same cap kind of thing as the elbows, just much bigger. And they're the same way, which is, you, they're pretty floppy. You don't have to really worry about them breaking, moving the figure. But they could break if you go bananas on them. So now moving down to the ankle. This is something I like when all Marvel Legends would have, is the rotation in, like at the sock part, I guess it would be, the chain mail. I like if they have a rotation here because it just helps with making poses look more natural with the foot. Because it'll be straight and then bent on the floor. Not like some of these Spider-Man figures. They'll just have the foot completely the wrong way. And it'll look terrible. But now with this, it doesn't have to be like that. So, at the ankle, he has that rotation. And then it goes up. Pretty decent. Uh, it kind of gets inhibited by the armor at the top here. It goes back very nicely. The back of the heel slides perfectly over. And then, moving it back... He has a nice ankle pivot. It does get caught under the, the armor again, but you can kind of slide it over and then it'll work real nice. So the articulation on this guy overall is pretty good. The abs are a little weird. I kind of would have rather just had if they broke the sculpt and just kind of put the cut in it because it would have made it a lot more usable and I feel like it wouldn't have even looked that much worse. So let me just uh, pop this man's head back on, give him the cape. Oof. boom so now moving on to accessories he has a good couple so starting out with interchangeable hands he has these grip this gripping hand and a fist only for these sides there's only a right gripping hand and a left fist which i know i usually hate and i still do but for the uh rest of the accessories i think it's fine because i feel like you can get what you need with it so for more uh, accessories, he has two hands, kind of some open palm hands. They kind of look like Dragon Ball Key Blast hands. I think they look pretty good. The only problem I have with it is this, the pinky kind of goes down funny and it looks really weird when you have them in a pose. But that's really it. Other than that, the hands are pretty nice. They interchange very easily and they didn't, they don't have like fingernails sculpted or anything in the glove. So it fits with it. Let me see, I just dropped the other one. You get one of these for each side and they both have the weird pinky. And then for some reason, uh, the trigger finger hand that comes with him, mine was broken. The piece is uh, the whole back there just isn't connected. Let me see if I can get some focus on here. Ooh, knock the light over. Ooh, yo, focus. Up quality, zoom, feed. Oh, maybe, I don't know. You can kind of see it. It doesn't really work well, but it, you can see it's broken there, the back piece. 
So uh, I can't really use the Doom Gun, which I really don't care about, but just make sure, or I guess if yours comes broken, be careful with it. Don't break it even more because then you can't even have Doom Gun. And that's very sad. Now to show actual Doom Gun, we have the, it's molded in the same kind of plastic as him, just a little brighter or a little lighter in color. It uh, it sucks. It's a little poopy Marvel Legends gun. The front that I guess the barrel of it is always bent. I can't seem to get it to go straight at all, even in the boiling water. But uh, I guess it is just a little bonus accessory. And he does have the holster on the side that opens up. And when you get him out of the package, the gun is in the holster. And I didn't notice it at first, so just make sure you know. He's packing heat. Let me see if I can get it in. There we go. Dr. Doom. He has his sidearm just in case things go south. Oh, oof. This, um, all right, there you go, Dr. Doom. The gun is in the, the holster now. I think this is probably where it will stay forever and for a majority of people. Uh, it looks pretty decent, but I think uh, he doesn't really need it. So now moving on to his final accessory, which I think is probably the best. We have Thanos skull and spine. I think it looks really good. The detail is really good, and uh, for kind of cutting into comparisons here, we'll bring the Marvel Legends Thanos. It's too tall, let me just crack them legs down. Bringing in the Marvel Legends Thanos, it, uh, it kind of looks decent for this, but I know it's supposed to be a comic Thanos. I don't have one. I was going to buy one, but he was like $45. So uh, we have... Uh, Thanos skull it doesn't really look the same but I feel like you could definitely pass it as a movie Thanos and if you have the comic one it'll fit even better because that's what it's supposed to be so now moving on from the accessories we'll finish up with some comparisons here with my man Dr. Doom uh, I don't have a good handful of the characters you want to compare him to so I'm just kind of winging it oh, that was bad that was the domino effect right there in you audibly heard that Ooh, that hurt watching, but we have a couple of figures here. Got a, you know, The show must go on. We got a couple of figures here to compare them to. I think the height fits pretty perfectly for Doctor Doom. I think this body mold is perfect for Doom. And it is probably only ever going to be used for Doom. But I think it looks really, really good. Oh, just halt oh, the Nappa fell over too. Oh my god, the pain inside me is growing. So now we'll just quickly get the rest of these comparisons over with. Uh, I was going to make a funny joke about all white variations. So we have uh, these guys. Oh, almost, almost just knocked over another one. But uh, yeah, I think Doom looks really good. For 20 bucks, uh, this figure is 100% worth it. He scales nicely, decent sized, articulation is great and everything. And uh, I'll th thank you guys so much for watching. I got to go uh, clean up the massacre that just happened. Uh, sorry for cutting it short, but thank you, and I'll see you next time when I do the Marty. Uh, bye.